Welcome back everyone. In the last video we showed you how to measure temperature with your microbit. This time we're making a thermometer with our microbit. We're going to walk you through the code. Here's an outline of what we're planning on doing. So we've got the microbit. We've got the microbit here. If we press button A, then we want to display the maximum temperature. So we've got a thermometer that's showing the current temperature all the time, but it does record the maximum temperature. If we press button A, we want to show the maximum temperature. We also want a way of clearing the maximum temperature. So we'll save that for button B. We press button B, we're going to reset the maximum temperature. And in the, under normal circumstances, we're going to display the temperature. When the code starts, we want to clear the variables. We do have three variables that we're going to be using here. And in the forever loop, it's fairly straightforward. We're going to read the temperature and display the temperature. These are going to be functions that we're going to call uh, to do the work for us. Uh, let's jump into the code. We'll tick off the easy ones first. Let's create the variables. So let's make a variable. We have three variables which we record max flag. And we'll create another one which we're going to call current temperature, uh, current temp. And we want another one, which we're going to call max temp. Okay. If we look at the start, we're going to clear those variables. This is just housekeeping, really, just to uh, satisfy ourselves that um, everything's clear when we get started. So we're back into variables, we're going to drop three of those on. And then we're going to change them to max temp, max flag, and current temp. Let's reset all of those. Drop that in the start. And then in the forever loop, um, we're going to call our two functions. But before we do that, we can uh, tick off some of these button events. So button B. We want to reset the maximum temperature. So input on button, drop that down. We'll choose B. And then inside there, we want to reset the variable. Set max temp to zero. So when you press button B, that's going to clear max temp. So that was a very easy one to uh, get done. When, uh, when you press button A, we want to display the maximum temperature and we're going to do that by setting a flag so that we tell the forever loop that hey we want the maximum temperature to be shown so button a so input on button a and then what we want to do is we want to set this flag variable so variable set max flag two one And we're going to drop that in there. That's what we need to do for that. So, you know, it's fairly easy going this. We now uh, need to start looking at these functions, really, that are going to go in the forever loop. One of them is read temperature. So let's create a function, make a function, and we're going to call that read temperature and click done <coughs> and in here what we're going to do is we're going to set the current temperature to the value of the temperature so input temperature and variable we're going to set the current temperature to temperature and put that in there. Once we've done that, we now need to ask ourselves if the current temp is higher than the max temp. If it is higher, then what we want to do is we want to update the value of max temp. So we're going to do that in some logic, and we want an if there. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to choose comparison, drop that down, choose greater than, into variables, 
we want current temperature, back to variables, and we want maximum temperature. We'll drop that into there, pop that into there, pop this in the loop. Uh, sorry, in the if then. So if current temperature is greater than maximum temperature, then do something. And what we want to do is we want to set max temp to current temp. So variables, current temp. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop this into this read temperature section here. So looking at our read temperature function, that is set up now. Um, we're going to get the current temperature. If the current temperature is higher than the maximum temperature. We're going to update the maximum temperature. And what we need to do now is call that function from the forever loop. So into functions, call read temperature, and drop that into there. Like so. We now need another function, which we're going to call display temperature. So, into variables, uh, sorry, into functions, make a function, and we're going to call that display temperature. Done. So, see if we can organize this a bit better. Let's pop this down here and expand it so we can see it a bit better. What we need to do is we need to test for button A, has this maximum flag been set? If it's been set, what we want to do is we want to display the maximum temperature. If it hasn't been set, we display the current temperature. So different need logic. We want to go for an if then else. And what we want to say is if max flag equals and if you put in there one we'll drop that as our test so button a is pressed max flag is set to one if max flag equals one then we're going to do the first part what we want to do is basic show number and we want to choose a variable. I'm going to go for max temp. Like so. What we also want to do as well, we've actually shown the maximum temperature now. So we want to clear this max flag. So the next time we get this function call, we don't keep uh, locked in that part of the code. So what we want to do is now, variables set. Max flag to zero. So we've cleared that out. So we're building this part up nicely. Next thing we need to think about now. So if max flag equals one, then show the maximum temperature. If it doesn't equal one, then what do we do? So what we want to be looking at is basic show number. And this time I'm going to show the current temperature. So We'll drop that from here and we'll drop that into there. And then all of this is going to go in this function. And then in the forever loop, we want to call that display temperature. Let's see if we can get all of this on the screen. Probably pop this down here. Next sec. So, right now it's flow now. I think that's tidied up everything we need to do. Um, so what we'll do, we'll think about getting that downloaded to the uh, to the microwave. But what we can do is um, we've got no way of showing that was showing the maximum temperature. So probably what we could do is just put a little indicator in there. Draw this arrow, and if we drop that in at the top, then basically now when we press button A, what should happen is it should go through here, and it will show us an arrow, and then it will show us 
the maximum temperature and that will indicate to us we are displaying the maximum temperature. We're going to call this macro bit. Thermometer with max temp recall. Click save. Okay, let's get this code flashed and see how it performs on the device. Downloading the code now. Once updated, flashing was successful. So we go, the code's downloaded to the micro bit. We're now displaying the current temperature, which is 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger on the processor and we should see that temperature increase over there. So the processor's over here. And that's where the temperature's being measured. I put my finger on there. We're 22, we're increasing, which is good. 23. 23. 24. So we've got up to 24 degrees. If I take my finger off now, what should happen is that temperature should decrease. We've gone down to 23. We need to remember that the maximum temperature that we recorded was 24. And that should have been saved in the max temperature variable. And if we press button A, we should see an arrow. And then we should see that 24 degree C temperature reading. So we're down to 22 now. I'm going to press button A. I'm going to wait for that. So we've got the arrow. This is showing us the maximum temperature and we've just seen 24. So that's save that value, which is absolutely fantastic. The other thing we need to test is button B. We want it to clear that maximum temperature. So if we press button B, so that 24 should have now been cleared to zero. We'll read the current temperature and then that will then be set to 22. So all being well, if we press button A again, we should see the arrow followed by 22. There's the arrow and we've got 22 on the display and back to the normal current temperature. That's working exactly as we uh, wanted it to. That's fantastic. I'm really happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This video is part of a mini series of three. First video, we was showing how to read the temperature. The, this current video, we're making a microbit thermometer. And for video three, we're going to extend this code so that we can read the temperature remotely. Be part of the loop, electronics loop. See you in the next video. Goodbye.